I'm Susie O'Callaghan, Director of Clinical Services at St Wilfrid's Hospice. And I'm Chris Rawson, the Living Well Services Manager at St Wilfrid's Hospice. We wanted to introduce you to this series called Breathe Well, Live Well. Many people with long-term health conditions experience difficulty in breathing and one of the most common symptoms we see in our patients is breathlessness. Happily, here at St Wilfrid's Hospice, we have a team who have the expertise to help people manage their symptoms. It's true St Wilfrid's Hospice often works with patients who are nearing the end of their lives, but we also work with a great many more patients who have long-term conditions who we help to coach to improve their quality of life. Breathing is something we all tend to take for granted. Let's face it, it's something that we've been doing every day since the day we were born. And until something goes wrong, we never really think about how we breathe. That's how easy breathing is, until it isn't. And when breathing becomes difficult, it can be very unsettling. The good news is that there are ways you can learn to better control your breathing. In this first series of videos and podcasts, we want to demonstrate a range of tips and techniques you can do safely at home. Our hope is that with each episode, you will find breathing a little easier, feel a little calmer, and better able to cope with any breathing difficulties you may experience. Once familiar with these techniques, our team is then on hand for phone and video calls. It really is a proud feeling to witness the vast improvement that can be seen in people's lives with just a few simple techniques and the determination to improve. Hi Mick, I just wondered how you're doing at the moment? A lot better than I was when I first came to the sessions. Not coping, (laughs) but making out I was. I'd get upset or get uptight. And then the breathing goes, and when you get that initial feeling, you can't breathe. Then you panic, and then you can't breathe even more. Mm. Doing the breath recovery, I honestly would have laughed at them, Mm. because it's so easy, but my God, it works. Mm. Like the aromatherapy, I use two of those, one which is uh, the breathe easy, mm. and the other one's the calming one, and they work. Well, they work for me. And my wife being on the course as well has helped t- tremendously. But being taught how to slow down, take it easy, I have a lot more control. If you want to get some of your old life back, do the course. Hello Christine, just wondered how you're doing at the moment. I'm struggling a bit at the moment with the breathing. I was in hospital a couple of months ago, um, for a couple of weeks, and I'm still getting over that really. Because it's not like getting breathless when you run a mile or whatever. It's almost as if you can't breathe, and it's quite distressing and frightening. Yeah. It's... I don't have the words to describe it. It's not a very nice experience at all. The most useful thing I've found was relaxation and mindfulness. And I was really cynical, but I'm not really into alternative medicines. But it's like magic. Uh, relaxation and it works very quickly. I use calm, the calming hands. Mm-hmm. It, it gets me to control my breathing and it's a movement. <laughs> it sounds silly but it takes an awful lot of concentration to breathe in as you run your hand up one finger and out as you breathe it down the other one. It's the concentration that takes. It's quite amazing when you can't breathe very much. I would advise them to take whatever help they can get. If it doesn't help help them, then they've not lost anything. Thank you very much, Christine. You're very welcome. From everyone here at St Wilfrid's Hospice, we hope you'll find these series useful, interesting and reassuring. So So thank thank you for watching and please Breathe well, 
Bye. 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 Bye.